uh, good afternoon everyone okay so i hope i am properly audible and i'm clearly visible to you all okay fine so let us continue the class which we have started yesterday and we were doing the chapter the tsunami page number 24 and after i have completed the chapter after that you will give your attendance okay not now and i i hope that everyone will mute themselves i don't have to repeatedly tell you that mute yourself okay please be muted all the time shomdatta if you can't see me you do one thing just uh, disconnect and join the clock call back again the problem will be solved All right. So, all of you ready? Let us start. All right. So, while starting the chapter, the tsunami, we have understood that tsunami is actually the name given to one of the uh, natural disaster, which is uh, a very terrible natural disaster, and we have read few instances stories few small fact that the people who faced the tsunami they faced so after reading those few fact we have understood that how devastatingly bad the tsunami can become okay the waves the waves are so strong that it is not only washing away the people it is also destroying the homes it is also uprooting the big trees like coconut trees which are very strong so tsunami can be so deadly so we have come across few stories that is related to the island of andaman and nicobar we we stopped the class after reading the story of almas uh, how almas uh, how almas entire family was swept away by the tsunami wave and she was luckily saved okay and she just like another girl like megna uh, they both were luckily saved they were just lucky enough because when a wave like tsunami comes okay it is completely your luck even for a few seconds of uh, just for a few second if you do anything else if your luck is not with you then we see that uh, so many people who were supposed to be safe but just because of those few moments they were washed away so it can be like completely luck we have to depend up upon our luck so we don't have any power when the nature is becoming angry so that is after all what we uh, are going to learn from this lesson so now coming to part 2 part 2 is page number 27 Tilly Smith, a British schoolgirl, was able to save many lives when the tsunami struck Phuket Beach in Thailand. Th though she had, uh, though she has won a number of awards, her parents have not allowed their daughter to be interviewed on television and made into a heroine. Why do you think they took that decision? So now we are coming out from Andaman and Nicobar. We are going to another part that is Thailand. okay now we are getting some stories on thailand so thailand what happened the very first introduction is tilly smith so she was not an inhabitant of thailand she was just a tourist she was a british school girl she was also a teenager so she along with her family they came to thailand in order to spend their christmas holiday there and the tsunami happened and we are going to read how this small girl tilly how she with her sense of mind with her um, common sense and uh, knowledge regarding her academic lesson how she how she used those knowledge in the practical 
life and saved not only her own life but the lives of many other people. Now here is a story from Thailand. The Smith family from Southeast England were celebrating Christmas at a beach resort in Southern Thailand. Tilly Smith was a 10 year old school girl. Her sister was 7 years old. Their parents were Penny and Colin Smith. So we are coming to meet Tilly. Tilly along with her entire family. So in her family she is also having a little um, she was also having a little sister. She was just 7 years while Tilly was 10 years and along with their family they were celebrating the Christmas and uh, Penny and Colin are the parents name. It was 26 December 2004. Deadly tsunami waves were already on their way. They had been triggered by a massive earthquake of northern Sumatra Isle earlier that morning. So now we are getting another information like where the earthquake actually originated. So the earthquake originated around the northern Sumatra area. Okay, the, the earthquake happened in that morning and then the wave took some time, time to form and then at first it came and hit on Thailand because Thailand was closer. After hitting Thailand then it came towards India uh, hitting Andaman and Nicobar Island and also hitting some parts of the coast of Tamil Nadu. So it started from that northern Sumatra. The water was swelling and kept coming in. Penny Smith remember. So in an interview, Penny, that is Tilly's mother, Tilly's mother told the people of the uh, news channel that uh, she saw that suddenly they were in the beach. They were having a very nice time in the beach. So they suddenly saw that the water was swelling up the water was rising the water was like becoming bulky in size it it was looking very strange it was not natural the beach was getting smaller smaller i did not know what was happening so it was a very strange incident you see in the beach normally the ocean waves are there okay people are sitting there people are jumping people are playing everything was going fine suddenly she was able to see that the beach was becoming wider means the water was just going back and the water was going back but on the other side from the horizon she could see the water was also rising means the level of the horizon was rising up while the beach was becoming wider means water was withdrawing from the beach and in some way the water was rising from the horizon that is what Tilly's, uh, Tilly's mother was watching and she was feeling quite doubtful that this is not normal then what happened but Tilly sensed that something was wrong her mind kept going back to a geography lesson where uh, lesson she had taken in England just two weeks before she flew out uh, out to Thailand with her family. So at that moment, Tilly understood that something is definitely not okay. Something is wrong. Something big is going to happen. She understood because she, immediately she was able to remember one of the geography lesson that she has taken in England just a few weeks back before coming to Thailand. Recently, she had. Uh, learned a lesson in geography okay related to this kind of natural phenomena Tilly saw the sea slowly rise and start to foam so the rise sea happened and after that there were a lot of foam the foam means the bubbles were created lot of foam was created on the water bubble and foam whirlpools and also not only that the entire surface water was getting converted into some kind of whirlpool. Whirlpool means uh, moving in a circular motion. She remember that she had seen this in class in a video of tsunami that had hit the Hawaii island in 1946. So in the in the geography class she remembered the teacher showed her some video clippings and in that video she saw there was a tsunami that happened in 1946 in the Hawaiian island so there how the ocean looked okay the same type of ocean she is able to see right in front of her so she was able to relate both. her geography teacher had shown her class the video and told them that tsunami can be caused by earthquakes volcanoes landslides so along with showing the video the teacher also explained to her she remembered that uh, 
uh, this kind of tsunamis happens because of earthquakes some volcanic activities and also some of the landslide landslide is also a part of this movement of the earth only Tilly started to scream at her family to get off the beach so she immediately remembers the geography lesson she understands that uh, this is not going to be something okay this is going to end up into a big disaster so they need to evacuate they need to vacate that place they need to vacate the beach they need to go and uh, get some safety places for themselves so she started shouting she talked about an earthquake under the sea she got more and more hysterical means tilly was behaving like a uh, living like mad she was madly screaming she was shouting she was panicking she was trying to show that she was scared and she was talking about some kind of underground uh, some kind of underwater earthquake something under the ocean some kind of earthquake under the ocean happened said her mother penny i did not know what a tsunami was but seeing my daughter so frightened i thought something serious must be going on so the mother was not able to understand what she is telling but the way she was freaking out the way she was panicking the way she was screaming the mother understood that definitely she is trying to convey something is wrong we need to be serious we need to look at her seriously um i thought something seriously must be going on means whatever tilly is trying to say tilly is not joking tilly is not just simply getting scared she is getting scared because of a particular reason so her mother took it very seriously tilly's parent took her and her sister away from the beach to the swimming pool at the hotel so they the entire family just uh, vacated the beach and they reached the swimming pool of the hotel a number of other tourists also left the beach with them so the way tilly shouted and screamed and made a scene so obviously the other people who were nearby around tilly they also felt scared and they also felt something is wrong because they are also observing the sea going rising in that manner so they also felt something wrong and the way tilly was shouting so they also got mixed with fear and cautious cautiousness and along with tilly they also left the beach then it was as if the entire sea had come out after them i was screaming run and as they were about to move suddenly they saw that the sea which was rising suddenly the sea was like uh, like approaching them with tremendous speed it was just like a big giant wave that was chasing them and they got terrified and they started screaming run the family took refuge in the third floor of the hotel so instead of going to the swimming pool they went to the third floor of the hotel okay the building which stood the surge of the three tsunami waves if they had stayed on the beach they would not have been alive so there was not only one wave three consecutive wave first one wave got hit and then another big wave got hit and another big wave three waves but they survived because they took shelter on the third floor of the hotel building okay so it was strong and nice hotel obviously therefore it was able to sustain the attacks of the three big waves and then tilly's mother is telling that if we had been in the beach or anywhere nearby we would not have survived at any chance so all thanks to tilly she made everyone cautious okay someone is asking me dildar that what is phuket phuket is the name of a place in thailand okay it is a famous beach that is there is no meaning for phuket it is a name of a beach maybe there is any meaning of phuket but that meaning is clearly of a different language so i don't have any idea about that okay so okay the smith letter made the other tourist who had lost entire families thanks to tilly and her geography lesson they had been forewarned Tilly went back to her school in England and told her classmates her terrifying tale. So that was it because of Tilly the entire family got saved the family survived not only the family along with the family the other people who ran after them looking like following them the other people who also vacated the beach their lives also got saved and everything happened because of Tilly and Tilly then after going back England 
she narrated the story that how she uh, understood the tsunami warning and how she managed to uh, run away from that place she like told all the friends of her school okay so this is the end of part 2 so till here is there any problem no problem So only one small portion is left that is part three so in the part three i'm not going to cover the part three today part three i'm keeping for the next day so because already the time is up uh, so in the part three we will we will see that this kind of natural disaster like tsunamis or earthquake or volcanic activities we humans we look for signs and symptoms for these uh, things okay but there is a very like uh, mystical talent among the animals the animals can sense this kind of disaster before even they start so we see sometimes birds are flying in a mass birds are uh, flying from one place to another in a huge number okay so at that time we must definitely get aware because birds they also have a very uh, big sense of recognizing some kind of change in the weather or any kind of natural disaster that is coming okay so uh, just like the birds some animals also they somehow understands they are able to feel the vibration maybe more strongly more better than us and they also start vacating their uh, normal dwelling places they try to move from that place to the another place so in this tsunami we will see that there were many animals who were showing different types of behavior some were freaking out some were crying some were just moving out okay so with this animal movement we can understand one thing that animals are having a kind of sixth sense okay and with the use of that sixth sense they are able to understand any kind of natural calamity before it happens so in this A report of tsunami many people many human beings they lost their lives and properties but very less number of animals or birds very very less number of animals were reported to be dead the number of animals who died because of the tsunami were very very less in compared to the number of human beings okay so we will end our class here today and the part 3 we will continue tomorrow along with the question answers fine okay and the meaning of refuge refuse means taking shelter escape escaping from something else trying to escape from something else okay all right so you wait for your next class i am leaving okay bye bye and stay safe